we basically need a stabilization crew, which you're gonna be over here with Donnie. And then I'm gonna need myself an anchor team, which is gonna get the tie back rigged up to the vehicle, hooked into this system with the secondary capture uh, progress, which is gonna be a ratchet strap. If we wrap it around like that, for obvious reasons, and anchor into the system with just that one point of contact, you're gonna have less of a load capacity as you're gonna be able to do a double basketed system like this. Now we've doubled our load capacity with the sling can hold. This is where I would set up my grip hoist, okay, so you're not crossing them over. And this is where I would set up my ratchet strap one on. The reason for that is if you look at the weight distribution of that vehicle, most of the weight is in the engine, which is gonna be up front. That's where I wanna put the additional ratchet strap to capture. The other system could be rigged off of this one, which is going to be the grip hoist tied to those uh, tie back chains that we have over there. Remember how I told you guys how you can take and shorten the throw of a ratchet? You can also not only shorten the throw of a ratchet, you can use it to make a bite. So do you remember how we would go through, through there and then go back onto there? There's your bite, right? Now take this end of it and you're gonna to go to a cluster, find a cluster and then tie that into wherever the engine compartment is. That ratchet does not need to actually be uh, tightened until we have lifted this car up and got it to the position we want. That's when we're gonna tighten down our ratchet at that point in time and lock everything off. You're gonna have it in free spool, so as we're pulling tension, you're gonna pull, pull that spool through. Once we're ready, we we'll wanna make sure we got two full wraps around that bale and then we'll lock it down.